astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here's your daily forecast for the day of Thursday, August 24th, 2017. Now, today I think we're trying to figure things out internally, maybe being a little frustrated coming off of yesterday, off of that day when we felt like, okay, we've got this new thing, we wanna put it in action, we wanna make it happen, but how do we fit it into our lives? You know, the life that we had, the life that we've been experiencing, uh, for the past eight months since the beginning of this year and maybe not feeling quite comfortable doing that Especially knowing how hard the beginning of this year has been astrologically Okay, and I think that was hard for us yesterday needing to break through some old ways of thinking so that we can let this new thing in uh, But let it in in a way that works with what we have been doing and I think today we're still kind of working that out I don't think that we're feeling as bad as we were yesterday because you know The moon is coming off of the square and the opposition to some of these difficult planets but I don't think that we're feeling like we're moving forward super fast either I think today is a day to take a break for a little bit to be patient okay to think about what is going on and try to wrap your mind and figure some things out so that you can feel much better where your life is at and do what needs to be done okay so I think today is going to be more of an internal day trying to think about things trying to just just work it out Okay, weigh things out in your mind, especially with the moon being in Libra, okay? Uh, the reason why I say that, and maybe a little bit of a slower day, is because we do have the moon at the very beginning of the day in a semi-square with Mars in the north node. Semi-squares bring up frustration, frustration that you can't move as fast on something that you want, having to wait and be patient, okay? Not because you can't do what you want, but just because it's gonna take more time, all right? So that's um, where we're gonna have frustration, feeling like we're making progress, feeling like we're moving forward, and feeling like we're doing something that we we want that's really really close to uh, our hearts okay I think that's gonna be the thing but I think we're thinking about what we need to commit to uh, thinking very seriously perhaps about some feelings and something that we want to happen as well thinking also about our relationships how we can get on board with our relationships with our many with our values after something unexpected may have happened earlier in the week or some kind of insight or revelation you may have received that was a little upsetting I think as well you're trying to figure some of that stuff out trying to work and get right with yourself and figure out what's happening in terms Internally with you okay and to break through you know old things so that you can really move forward all right we still have Mars conjunct the North Node so there's still a lot of power for us to manifest things and a lot of power for us to move forward okay I think we want to especially but I don't know if today is gonna be the best day to do that okay there could also be some hard feelings because when we do have Mars conjunct the North Node while we have this really frustrating aspect to Mars and not in the moon, not doing a lot of stuff, I think it gets to be two where we want to push so hard. You know, Mars can bring a lot of aggression where we want to just do things at all costs. You know, whatever it takes, you know, I want to get it done. And I think today you may not be able to do things like that, okay? You may still be able to do things and move forward, but you need to do it from a place that is just a little quieter, a little slower, um, okay, so that you can eventually get there and to know not <clears throat> push so hard with what is happening all right I think that's gonna be a thing there mercury also is gonna conjunct the Sun today so there's a lot of thinking that's going on if we can't do and I think there's gonna be some frustration if you try to push forward and do a lot of things I think we're gonna be thinking a lot trying to get things in the right perspective about what's going on rethinking some old things as well to figure out what what is happening okay today is gonna be best served by being reflective by being thinking by thinking and by preparing for what it is that you need to do to really let this new beginning come into your life okay I think that's what's gonna go on mercury just so you know is also gonna retrograde back into Uranus all right where the solar eclipse is and where Venus has been making all these crazy aspects so even though we're coming out of this time of crazy unexpected stuff that's happening the way it's always happened and whatever way it's happened or manifested in your life I think we still have to come to terms with that I think we still have to understand why all of that unexpected stuff happened to us what it all meant how to make sense of it okay and how to take it and move forward with it in a much better way that we can then build on as well okay so that's also something that is gonna come up but I think today we're trying to work out some internal issues so that we really can begin to welcome this new beginning and feel good about it. And now let's pull your card and see what we got going on here. Do you like how I'm matching in these videos? 
I'm trying to match like the Wonder Girl blue that we've got going on there on my on my like channel and on my website. And then of course I'm matching the blue look on my cards. All right, this is the Rider Waite. I think it's like the Centennial Edition. I like it because it's got like these muted colors that are like kind of pastel-y and I really like pastels and like soft colors. So that's what we got there. Now your card for the day is the Three of Wands reverse. So this is kind of interesting because earlier in the week we got the Two of Wands upright, okay? And the Two of Wands, as I mentioned then, was really all about choices, choices to stay in what you're comfortable with or to move forward into the future, okay? And needing to step out, even if you don't know what's going on, rather than stay inside. And I think what this comes up today is the threes are about planning. Once you've made that choice to move forward, now you have to figure out what can I do with it? You know, where is this really going? What is happening next, okay? And when it's upright, it indicates a lot of planning, a lot of putting plans in place or um, how do I say this? Strategizing? Strategizing. Why was that a hard word for me uh, right then? Uh, so I think we're, when it's upright, we're thinking about the strategies to put it in place and trying to make things, or, you know, arrange things. Okay, you hear it. You hear it. This is going to happen here. And I think when this happens, we're having problems strategizing. We're having problems putting things in place. We're having problems figuring out where life is going next and how it is we need to get there. And I think the message of this card is saying it's okay if you're having problems figuring all of that out. Okay, you just need to stay with it a little bit more. You need to try to figure out how you can get a plan if you need. And even if that means that you don't have a plan right now, you need to be patient waiting for that plan to come. And you need to think more about what you can do to really start to take the, te start to take the steps to move forward in the direction that you want to move in. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you liked it, please like it on Facebook. Please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.